morning, ladies and gentlemen. Today I'd like to talk about my time on eBay. Ever since I was 11 or 12 years old, I've been selling Legos on eBay. Um, or at least started. Started with selling Legos on eBay. Um, my first goal uh, when I started selling on eBay was probably to just, you know, buy more Legos, sell some that I didn't want, and, uh, you know, buy others that I did want. Um, but, you know, as time went on, and, uh, you know, I started not playing with them as much, although I still do love them, um, I sold most of them off, and I did make a very decent, uh, you know, decent amount of money uh, selling them, because although Legos do not hold as much value once they're out of the box, they still are pretty expensive. Um, and there are also methods of selling them on eBay, uh, whether it be in bulk or piece by piece, in which you can make a lot of money. Um, if you if you were to buy um, 100 minifigures for $100, and you bought and you brought them home and you uh, resold them for each each minifigure for two bucks, that you doubled your profit. So you can do things like that, which I, I have done in the future. Um, as time went on, I moved on to mostly autographed football cards. Although I did sell other things uh, that I found around the house that I didn't want. Book, uh, lighter, hat, uh, a Wii, anything, anything I didn't want, I sell. Um, <clears throat> with uh, football cards, though, it was a very like businessy type interaction. It was almost like the the stock market in a way, uh, which was fun because it, you had to kind of know what you were doing to to be good at it. Um, the most important cards you can buy on eBay are rookie cards. So you only you have to guess from their time from college to the NFL of how good of a player they're going to be. So you have to do research on the player. You have to you, you know hear what other people think. You got to really uh, you know get the ones that you think are going to be great in the NFL. Um, obviously, that doesn't always work out. I have a stack of football cards here. Um, in which the players do not play in the NFL anymore, and I lost money on them. However, there were those ones where, you know, I got it right, and um, I did make a decent amount of money. The best examples of those are uh, a rookie card for Ezekiel Elliott, who's the running back of the Dallas Cowboys. I bought that card for about $100, and I ended up selling it for 350 So that's a nice profit there. And the best example um, was I bought a rookie card for Aaron Judge the year before he became a superstar. I bought it for ten dollars, and I ended up selling it for roughly two hundred, give or take, a little bit more, a little bit less. Um, so yeah, you can hit those massive home runs, and it just really, you know, it really depends on you know where the player goes, who's the hyped up player, what team is he playing on, and that makes the prices go up and down, depending on, you know, people will care more about, uh, you know, a superstar player going to the New York Giants than they will about a superstar player going to the Chargers. Uh, it's just there's more fans, they're more into it, um, and ch the Chargers have less fans, so there's going to be, you know, more people wanting that superstar card than if it was on the Chargers. So there's things like that you got to think of. Uh, you also have to think of the position they're playing. Um, most people want wide receiver, running back, quarterback. Uh, they want the skill positions. So that's another aspect you have to take into before buying it and then reselling it. Uh, another important thing about, at least me, uh, with, the, with the football cards, is I would make sure that I set them up in kind of like a showcase when I took pictures to sell them I would do the same the same background the same table every every time uh, this way I kind of built a little bit of a brand right 
um, if someone had bought from me before and they were scrolling through eBay again and they saw, you know, in the picture that it was the same guy that they bought from before, uh, you know, that's a little bit of, you know, building building yourself up. And obviously if he had a, you know, a pleasant experience last time, uh, then he might be, you know, more willing to buy from me from somebody else because your feedback, the ones that you give and take on eBay is very important. Um, to selling, you know, you want to have a, you know, the best one you can have. Um, secondly, I, it, I would package it uh, pretty much the same way, small envelope, but I would always uh, cut out a little card and I would write my username, uh, and my name, my email, and I'd put it in there just as a reminder of who they bought it from, you know, uh, because I would get sometimes repeating customers. Uh, unfortunately, I don't do it as much anymore. Um, it's just a lot of time to take pictures, take pictures and, and write descriptions. But if I wanted to, you could definitely make a, a nice little side hustle out of it. Uh, and it was actually an, a great learning experience, just of how to manage money, how to look, how to you know make your product look the best, how to do research on a product, and you know how to make a profit. Uh, so thank you and have a good rest of your day.